Hello, mi gente. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. This is We Are Investing, a channel that's dedicated in investing and personal finance. On this video, I'm going to show you an options trading strategy that we personally use. This is an example that I'm going to show you on today's video, a trade that we are personally in, a trade that I personally notified the Patreon members on that private Discord server when I got into the trade, and I also provided them with the research beforehand on the strategy and the potential returns of this trade. We're going to be talking about an options trading strategy that provides a lot of potential upside, but it also gives you a hedge and a way to make five to 7% every single week by selling covered calls, essentially creating your own yield. Purpose of this video is not to show you a stock that we've been making money off of and brag about that. That is not the purpose. The purpose is to show you the strategy so that you can understand the process behind why we got into the trade, what we're doing, why we're doing it, how we're making money doing it. It's basically trying to teach you the strategy, the means and method behind the process. If you give a man a fish, you're going to feed him for one day. If you teach a man how to fish, you'll feed him for a lifetime. That's the model behind what we're trying to do on this channel. We're trying to create investors and traders who know what they are doing and can do it on their own, combine them in a community of well-rounded investors and traders, and then you're going to have a really strong community. If you want to join our community, you can do so by joining the Patreon. It will give you access to that private Discord server. A link is provided down below. Let's talk strategy. The first part of this strategy, phase number one, and we'll dive into more detail when we actually do that live example. Now there's going to be a chapters down below, a timeline. You can skip around if you want to, but the first part of this strategy is buying a leap. A LEAP stands for a long-term equity anticipation security. In layman's terms, it's buying a call option with an expiration date that is long-term, something that's at least a year. Now, traditionally with LEAPs, they're going to be in the money. For this process, for this strategy, they have to be in the money. And you want a LEAP contract that has a delta of around 0.8, but the higher the delta, the better. Because the second part of the strategy is selling a poor man's covered call. What you need for a poor man's covered call is you need that leap that we discussed in the first phase of this strategy. And then you're just selling covered calls against that leap. And that's why it's called a poor man's covered call because with a traditional covered call, you need to buy 100 shares per contract that you're selling. In our case, we need to buy one leap, which is going to be way cheaper than buying 100 shares, and then we can sell one covered call against that leap. And then the third phase of this strategy is rolling options. We are going to be selling poor man's covered calls that expire every week. We're going to be rolling those options every single week to continue to collect premium on our position. Now, the benefits of using this strategy is one, you still get to capitalize on the upside of the stock move because you own leaps. You might cap out your potential gains on the leap itself, depending on what strike price you are selling your poor man's covered calls against. The other benefit is you are selling those poor man's covered calls every single week. So you are collecting money every single week in premiums by selling those call options. The third benefit is because you get to collect that premium, you are hedging your position, providing more flexibility and increasing your returns. There could be a case where the stock goes down and you're still in the green because of all of those premiums you have collected. Another benefit is with collecting premiums, it provides a bunch of flexibility on your covered calls and this is where personal preference comes in because there's a lot of flexibility what you can do every given week with those covered calls. We'll dive more in the example which we're going to hop on over to now. 
For this example, I'm going to show you a trade that I actually did in my personal portfolio. The stock, the ticker is TBT. Like we said earlier in this video, we bought leap options and then we started selling poor man's covered calls and we started to roll them every single week. I'm going to use the on-demand function in Thinkorswim and replay this trade so that you can see step-by-step -step the process that I took to get into this trade. And you're also going to see how much money we've been able to make off of this position that is going to continue to create passive income for my personal portfolio. So here we are, we're looking at TBT the day I entered into my position. Now I was watching this stock for a long time because I thought the macroeconomics just made sense and that TBT would go on a rally because we would see an increase in interest rates and TBT being short the 20 year treasury bond is being along the interest rate on that 20 year treasury bond. So with that being said, I thought it made sense with the macroeconomics to get into a longer term swing trade on TBT. But I definitely wanted to use the technicals. And what I saw was it was moving in an upward channel. It touched that lower channel. And today it had a green candle. So I wanted to get into it. Obviously, I would like to get into this position for even cheaper. But at this time, I felt very comfortable opening up a position in TBT. So that's exactly what I did. Having the stock picked out that I thought would work out in a longer term swing trade and is good at a technical standpoint right now was key in determining when to enter into a leap. The next thing that we had to do was actually purchase leaps. So what I did is I went over to the trade and I took a look at the options chain for TBT. So now that we're looking at the options chain for TBT, I basically have two expiration dates that would work for a leap. January 2024 or January 2023. Now, obviously, whenever you go further out in expiration, typically it's the better strategy to use if you can afford it and if there's volume because you want your position to have liquidity. You want to be able to sell at a fair price very easily. If there's no volume, that's hard to do. Now, this on-demand function isn't going to represent volume accurately. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But you're going to have to trust me. 2024 leaps in TBT, at least at the time when I was checking it, it was very low volume. So I was almost kind of forced to pick January 2023. Now, the next thing that I needed to do is I needed to pick an option that had a delta of around 0.8. I decided to buy the $17 strike, which had a delta at the time of 0.79. That's the reason why I chose these leaps. They are in the money. They have a 0.8 delta. They expire in 290 days. And this will provide me an opportunity to capitalize on the upside of the stock while also selling poor man's covered calls and creating my own yield, essentially making this position a dividend paying stock or equivalent to a dividend paying stock, a stock that's paying dividends every single week at least. So let's proceed. This is the option that I bought. This is around the price that I bought it. So we're going to right click. We're going to hit buy. We're going to hit single and we are going to buy a couple of these leaps. So I updated my quantity to buy 10 of them. We're going to buy them at the ask price, which we probably could get them for cheaper. But we're going to do it this way to try to get this order filled quickly on this on-demand function. So we're going to hit confirm and we're going to hit send. And we bought 10 leaps at a price of $5.08 per contract. So $508 per contract in total. He times that by 10. So we're looking at a position that is just over $5,000. Keep that number in mind because that is our cost of entry and that is the number we are going to use to determine our return on investment, our ROI. Now taking a look at the charts, I want to explain my process before we dive into selling that covered call. I need to identify a price that I like to be able to sell that covered call. So with that being said, I am looking for a price that is above a resistance to increase the probability that my covered call does not get in the money. We'll explain this in further detail later in this video, but essentially I'm looking for a key level. So this is a key level of support that turned into a, a future resistance. So it's definitely a major level in my eyes, and that is the $23 mark. 
So to get started, selling something above $23, I think makes sense for a short-term covered call. And that's how I proceeded with this trade. So let's go to the options chain and sell some covered calls with a strike price that is above $23 a share. Looking at my trade history, the first covered call that I sold was the $23.50 strike. This also has a delta of 0.07. So there's a 7% chance that this is going to end up in the money, something that I'm willing to take. So with that being said, let's proceed by selling a covered call against our leaps or a poor man's covered call. As you would say, we're going to right click. We're going to hit sell. We're going to hit single. And we are going to up this price to five cents and we are going to sell 10 of them. We're going to hit confirm and send and we're going to hit send and we sold 10 of them. Now we just made $50 for this week off of a $5,000 initial investment. So to get started, we're collecting a 1% dividend this week off of this position, but it gets better as we get more in the money and our position gets stronger and stronger as you will see. So what I like to do personally is I like to roll these options the day before they expire. So we are going to proceed to April 13th of 2022. So here we are. The stock is currently trading at $23.44. It is just out of the money because our strike is the $23.50 and we paid five cents for that. So really our break even is 23.55 or that's when they actually become in the money. And if we go to the monitor tab, you can see that the position is up 38.37%. But it's actually going to show that these call options that we sold are negative because we would have to buy them back for a much higher price. We're not going to do that, but we are up 43.21% on the leaps. That is very important, and you're going to see what our total PL is at the end. But just keep in mind, or just remember, that we're still capitalizing on the upside on the leaps as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to roll these now that we are a day away from expiration. So, we're going to right click on the option or the position, we're going to create a rolling order, and we are going to sell 10 calendar. Uh, call options. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy back the call options that we sold and we are going to up this to the $24 strike. And now what we can do is we can co hit confirm and we can hit send. We can go to our monitor tab. We can look at our working orders and I'm going to reduce this to 11 cents to try to get this order filled. I'm going to hit confirm and send. Still hasn't gotten filled. So we're going to hit cancel replace order and make it 10 cents, hit confirm and send and wait for this option to get filled. So now we sold or we rolled those and we collected 10 cents in premium per contract. There's 10 of them. So a hundred dollars. Now, because the stock moved higher, our premiums as in terms of a percentage of our initial investment went up. Remember that the first week that we sold these, we made 1%. While this week we made 2%. In total, we've made $150 selling these. So in total, we made 3% off of a $5,000 investment. And we're also up 43.21% on the leaps. Let's proceed to the next week. Wow. Now here we are a day before expiration and the stock is trading at $24.36. At this point, our leaps or our poor man's covered calls, sorry about that, are in the money. So what do we do? Is it time to panic? I beg to differ. We do not panic right now. We just continue with the process because if we take a look at it, we are getting overextended on the MACD. I've already done this. I know what it looks like. The RSI is also indicating that it's overbought and we are well above the trend line. So in my mind, I'm not going to panic right now because I can also still make money. So if we go to our monitor tab and we take a look at our position, the leaps are up 57.48%. Obviously, these covered calls that we sold are negative because it's going to cost more money to buy them back. But the thing that we have to our advantage is that we can roll these call options and continue to collect premium. Now there is flexibility here. 
If I right click and I hit create rolling order, we're going to do the same process. So the first process is obviously we need to buy back the $24 strike. Now there's some flexibility here. We can keep the strike price the same and just roll them out another week and collect a nice $33 per contract. We can increase the strike. We can go to $24.50, collect $7. We can go to $25 and pay to do that, which I wouldn't recommend. What I actually like to do here is just keep the strike the same. This is what works out personally for me because I'll be able to collect a lot of premium and I do think that there's a good chance that we'll be below $24 eventually. So I'll just continue this process and I will sell 10 call options at the $24 strike for $32 a pop. I'm going to hit confirm and I'm going to hit send. Now that order got filled. It was at $32 a contract. There's 10 contracts. So we made $320 in that order alone off of a $5,000 investment. So we're looking at a 6.4% in just one week. You add the $150 that we made in the last two weeks and we're at $470 off a $5,000 investment and we're looking at a 9.4% return in that quick of a time. Now keep in mind, we're also capitalizing on the upside of those leaps and those are up 57.48%. And basically that is as far as I can go on on demand. Now if we take a look at the current price for TBT, it's $24 and it's starting to come down a little bit. There's a good chance that that $24 strike is going to expire out of the money if we start to see somewhat of a pullback in TBT. If it doesn't happen, then we've made a good amount selling these covered calls that we can either continue to roll them, continue to collect premium at that $24 strike and wait for it to fall below $24 or just buy it back at some point with all of the with a lot of the cash that we made and capitalize on the entire upside of the leaps or we can get fancy and start rolling these covered calls and start selling them at strikes that are slightly higher or even pay for a higher strike and take a little bit of that profit away that we've made by selling those covered calls. There's a lot you can do here. There's a lot of flexibility. Each investor or trader is different. It's a matter of personal preference, but the idea behind this video is to show you the strategy and how much more the market can offer you if you start trying to use options to your advantage to create situations like this where you can be your own fisherman and find your own returns. So what do you think? Do you think buying leaps and selling poor man's covered calls makes sense? Is it something that you would be interested in doing? It is definitely something that I personally enjoy doing. It's a strategy that I use a lot for my individual portfolio. Collecting money every single week off of a stock is just so much fun. Every Monday or every Thursday if you're rolling them or whenever you decide to roll your options or open up your covered calls, it's a thrill because you just think of how much money you can compound these premiums and continue to grow your portfolio. And as your portfolio gets larger, it gives you more flexibility and more buying power to then use this strategy and collect even more premiums. And at a point, it's like you can be making so much money if you really focus on these strategies. To me, it's like dividend investing on steroids because we're not talking about 5-7% every year or 15-20% every year, which is the dividend yield on some of the high paying dividend stocks. We're showing you examples where you can collect 5-7% to in returns in just one given week while also capitalizing on the upside and seeing 20-40% returns on the leaps themselves. 
when this strategy works, it really works and it can be a cash cow. So if you like learning more about these kinds of strategies and how to use options trading to your advantage, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell and smashing that like button. Also, don't forget about our Patreon. The link is provided down below. With all that being said, that about wraps it up for this video. I thank you so much for your time. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing and together we are invincible. See ya.